Okay, we continue on uh, pay office. Uh, so, in pay office, uh, you must remember uh, in glycolysis, one molecule of gly uh, glucose being converted into two molecules of pyruvate. So, in, bear in mind in pay office, uh, every reaction happened twice, and also every uh, product also produce twice. As an example here, you can see okay the the two in the circle is meaning two molecule of one three by phosphoglycerate two molecule of three phosphoglycerate okay and then you can see that uh, i wrote down the two and ad plus meaning that this reaction happened twice okay happened twice uh, <coughs> so uh, the payoff is starting from uh, when the Glyceridehyde three phosphate is being converted into one three bisphosphol bisphosphol glycerate. Enzyme involved in this reaction is triose phosphol, uh, sorry triose phosphate dehydrogenase. Okay, in this reaction, it involves additions of phosphate groups uh, at the first positions of the phosphol uh, glycerate. Okay, and also in this reaction. Uh, NAD+, plus, which is nicotine amide uh, dinucleotide, which is a coenzyme, is reduced to the NADH. So that's why when you look at the enzyme name dehydrogenase. Okay. And, uh, and also in this uh, reaction, the uh, being utilized of uh, two molecule of phosph inorganic phosphate. Okay, so kenapa dekat sini two molecule of NADH being produced? Because this process is happen twice. Alright, and from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, alright, now it being converted into 3-phosphoglycerate and enzyme involved in this reaction is phosphoglycerokinase. So this kinase enzyme uh, is used to transfer the phosphate group of the first position of phosphoglycerate Okay, and it transfer the for this compound transfer the phosphate group to the adenosine diphosphate. So, in this reaction, adenosine diphosphate now become adenosine triphosphate because it receives the phosphate group for from phosphoglycerate. So, what happened in here? We can see that um, okay, the same. 2 ATP is being produced, ataupun is being uh, generated, okay, because this process happened twice. So, 2, sorry, 2 ATP is being generated, okay, 2 ATP is being generated. And from 3 phosphoglycerate, okay, being converted into 2 phosphoglycerate. This is a simple rearrangement and the enzyme catalyzing this reaction is phosphoglycerolutase. Okay? And from 2-phosphoglycerate, uh, it being converted into phosphoenopyruvate and uh, with the help of catalyzing enzyme enolase and there will be the removal of uh, water molecule, 2 water molecule. Okay, because as I said before, this reaction happened twice. And from phosphoenolpyruvate, okay, it become it being converted into pyruvate, which is the last product in glycolysis. Okay, bila you tengok dekat tepi ni, I dah letak dua. Because this meaning that two molecule of pyruvate been produced. Okay, this process is happening twice. Okay, so bila dua kali, you dah harap dua je lah dia punya product and also the uh, substrate, okay, and the product. Alright, and also the enzyme. So, uh, sorry, and also the ATP. Phosphoenolpyruvate to pyruvate, okay, enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is pyruvate kinase. 
So this pyruvate kinase will transfer the phosphate group from the phosphoenopyruvate to ADP, all right, in order to become pyruvate. So what happened to the ADP now? ADP is become ATP. So another process where the ATP is being generated. So in these steps, two ATP is being generated. Okay. So how many ATP basically is being generated in pay or phase? There are two plus two, which is four ATP from pay or phase. And then, how many NADH is being um, uh, how many NADH is being produced? They are two NADH is being used. So these two NADH is will uh, will be uh, further utilized in electron ETC eh? electron transport change in order to produce more energy. So basically. The summarizations of glycolysis, we can say that in glycolysis, it's required two ATP input, okay, which is, which is in investment phase. With the recap balik in investment phase, there are two ATP is being used, okay, input of ATP is adalah dua. So, berapa uh, baki yang tinggal adalah, okay, kalau kita tengok pay off phase, ada empat jumlah ATP yang dihasilkan. 2 plus 2 here. So, there are 4 ATP being uh, generated in payoff pay phase and minus 2 ATP has been used in investment phase. So, there are net yield balance adalah 2 ATP. 4 minus 2. So, the net yield is 2 ATP in the glycolysis. And the yield of NADH is 2 NADH. Right, so I hope that you will understand what happened in glycolysis. Okay, uh, basically, glycolysis is the breakdown of one molecule of glucose into two pyruvate, two pyruvate, and the payoff phase is happening twice. That's why the product is become twice, and the reaction also twice. All right, so in Investment phase, there are two uh, there are two uh, ATP being used, and in payoff phase, there are four ATP is being generated. Okay, this is uh, net yields two ATP, uh, and the yields of NADH also two. So that's all from me, Madam Yanti, and I hope you understand. And if you have any questions, any query, you can personally message me uh, in WhatsApps. Alright, so have a nice day everyone. Assalamualaikum.